Rob G's, of course, you know where you are. My name is ADS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, hear me. We had issues with the National Electric Power Authority, NEPA. We didn't have life with NEPA, right? So they told us the way forward is to privatize the power sector. We had NEPA sold to Power Holding Company of Nigeria, PHCN. It's done also. Okay. We believe the power issue has been solved once and for all. But PHCN continued from where NEPA stopped. As though it was just a change of name and not change of company. Now, have we solved the power issue? Of course the answer is no. In fact, the availability of this important amenity depends on where one resides. If you stay in the rich dominated areas, you have more light, more than people staying in areas dominated by the poor or the average man. Why this sharing formula? Is anyone more Nigerian than the other? Why is it difficult to have steady power supply in this country? The technology to achieve this has been perfected by advanced countries. Of course, yes. So what is stopping us from getting help outside of this country since it appears we cannot do it on our own? And we budget billions of naira for electricity every single year. This year alone, we budgeted 300 billion naira for electricity alone. Where is this money channeled to? Where, who, who is the thief with this money? The interesting part is that there are several options to permanently solve the electricity problem in this country. We flare gas in this country every single day. This can be converted to generate more electricity via gas-driven micro and, and, and large turbines. This is just one way amongst many others that we can permanently generate electricity in this country. Other ways are coal and nuclear energy. Electricity is also produced from renewable sources such as hydropower, biomass, wind, geothermal, and solar power. We have only exploited the thermal and hydropower sources, which is not even sufficient. Two things are involved here. Is it that our leaders are ignorant of, the, of, 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 of these other options, or they have looted funds mapped out for this? Why not explore other options too? If we lack the technology to do so, why can't we channel the billions budgeted for electricity every year to seek for international collaboration on this issue? Why are we playing politics with virtually everything in this country? The annoying part is that towards the end of the month, when electric bills are expected to be paid for, the light seems to get steady. And when the bills are paid, it goes back to business as usual. This brings me to this important question. Is it not the same system that works towards the end of the month that also works for the rest of the month? Did anything change? Why are we being wicked to one another in this country? This calls for concern. We must get this country working again. And to do that, when you see something wrong, say it! Let's keep speaking. We must be heard. We are the Sorosoke generation. Of course you know that. We will keep speaking. Please remember to follow us on all our social media channels showing on your screen right now. Until I see you again, my name is A.D.S. Signing out.